trying to improve in those areas. Uh, we've been on, on our uh, young ladies about rebounding. And, you know, we got 44 rebounds almost all year long. I mean, and that's, again, effort and just determination. So I was really excited about that. You know, but I, I wasn't too pleased with our turnovers. We just had too many turnovers, very, I mean, unforced. Uh, just mental breakdowns in the third quarter. That, that really, to me, was a turn for the game. But we, we still, you know, we still had a chance to win. You know, um, my fifth year senior had a good look at the basket. We just came up short, you know, but that's, that was a great shot. You know, if we had to do it all over again, I won't push, take it again. Um, you know, and at the end, you know, my, my freshmen try to, you know, push the ball and try to get a good shot, but we just kind of came up short. So, you know, fell short tonight. So talk about uh, being able to hang into the ball game the way you did with your leading score, uh, cops not falling out of the ball game for one. Oh yeah, that, that that's another big. You know, she she just wasn't her night tonight. You know, mentally, I just felt like you know she missed some shots that she usually don't miss, and I, I've been riding her tail. You know, being a freshman, and she just you know she had to she had to do better uh, and got to learn from this. But I, I really think other people stepped up. You know, Courtney. Here are other freshmen coming back uh, from ACL. She did awesome tonight. You know, she made some great basketball plays. She fit right in, and uh, she came off the bench for us and gave us nine and three, and was just, you know, set good screens, just played within the offense, and stepped up huge. So even with, you know, Cobb scoring six points and was on the bench really most of the night, um, we still had a chance to win, which that, that really shows me a lot about this team. With Titan's relationship, or her father's relationship with Mississippi Valley State University, how do you feel she performed tonight? I think she played hard. I mean, she, you know, she didn't knock down as many shots as she knocked down the night before. You know, she got four uh, good good looks at the three-point line, and uh, we could have used at least one of those tonight. But, you know, I feel like she played hard. You know, I think she had some unforced turnovers that, you know, that I wasn't happy about. But uh, she, she could play, could have played better, but she played hard, so that's all I asked of her. It was close until the end. Did you anticipate that? What did you think about Valley coming into it and how did you all prep for them? Uh, you know, we prepare for everybody the same. Just, you know, go over our scouting reports. We have a game plan. Uh, and I thought the girls really follow, followed it. Like I said, the third quarter really, really hurt us with, you know, a lot of turnovers and we just had a breakdown. It was, you know, it was 23 to eight. We lost that big. So I, I really think the third quarter really, really hurt us. But I mean, we prepared, we watched a lot of film and, you know, cause that's very important to me as a coach, helping my uh, young ladies to be more students of the game. So, you know, I thought we prepared good and, you know, the outcome, of course I wanted to win, but I still thought we won in other areas and we learned from this. I really do. Coming to the ball game, I know you had to prepare for a read. For the first half, you kind of shut her down a little bit. For the second half, she came back and uh, gave that a spark to get them back into the ball game. Number 25 I'm talking about. I, I understand. Okay. I um, yes, uh, we, we did a good job. We did have a goal that we that we set for her. and She ended up with 30 points, mm -hmm. and which we know what that goal was. We wanted to hold her down to 10. Okay. Her, her average is 17, so I thought we did a great job. And like you said, mm -hmm. to the end, she got some – looked because I feel like my young ladies didn't communicate and our okay. rotation was a little slower and again okay. it happened in the third quarter when we had those breakdowns offensively turn the ball over and defensively not communicating which that is an area that we must improve on you know Eggleston you made a big shot going on the stretch to give your team a, a chance to win uh, do you look forward to taking more shots like that on the season when it comes down to a tight ball game? I I'd rather not be in a tight ball game so I don't have to make shots like that, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. And just generally in the SWAC this year, what all are you anticipating and kind of whose race it will be? Anyone's race kind of right now? Anyone? Question? I'm sorry. I don't just understand what like, you're asking. What are you all anticipating as you, you know, head into the bulk of SWAC play? Oh, we always want to get better. We practice every day hard to make each other better. We want to win games. That's that's our ultimate goal. We want to win games. We want to, make, we want to make it to the SWAC championship and play in the big game. So that's our ultimate goal day in and day out. That's what we work for every day. And, you know, these games, we're learning lessons each and every game. And each and every game, we get better in different areas. 
So we're coming along, and I really feel like we're going to start putting the pieces together like we're supposed to and get, get wins. That's all we want to do at the end of the day. Thank you guys very much.